Alright, hello people, I'm the dude and this is Quest to Play Everything. Today we're playing Long Live the Queen, which was gifted to me in hopes that I would play it, so here you go. Uh, the full title of this game is Rule or Die Trying, and they mean it. This game looks all happy and fluffy and, you know, sunshine and kittens, but it's not. Uh, this game will kill you over and over again. I've already died like five times, and I've only played it five times, so... <laughs> Uh, it's this this game does not play games so to speak Let's go ahead and get her going. Uh, there's a lot of text in this game. I'm gonna be paraphrasing most of it. Otherwise this would turn into like 20 videos or something <laughs> So yeah, uh, the king our father tells us that our mothers died and We are about to turn 15. So we have to become the queen. We have to uh, train to become the new queen I'm gonna go over the different bits and bobs real quickly. Mood decides how fast your skills go up. Uh, if you're very depressed, then one of your skills goes up faster. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one is uh, affected by depression. But that's our highest skill. Uh, let's see, cheerful. If I remember right, that does dance and singing and stuff like that. Uh, angry is for the combat st type stuff, like swords. Uh, afraid is for reflexes and anything to do with dodging. So, you get the idea. The higher your your mood is, the more your stats will grow. In this case, we're going to be raising... Probably... Good question. I'd like to get the combat skills up, so I think we might start with those. We'll start with archery, because... One of my deaths was due to archery skill. You'll see that in a while, assuming I get that far. Let's see, classes. These are the different classes. We want to learn weapons and archery. We get to train two times a day. We're going to train both in archery. Let's see, you learn how to twist and wax a bowstring from a variety of fibers. Okay, that's good. You learn to cut fletch and tie arrows. Oh, goody. So we have 20 archery skill now. Uh, what's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, right, our cousin and our aunt and our uncle show up. Hi, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I don't know why they call each other that. Her name is Elodie, the, the new queen, or the future queen. They have, like, a nickname for each other, I guess, and her name is Charlotte. I have no idea. Oh, because it's a part of their name. That's why. I, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. Charlotte, at the end, it's I guess her name's Lot. That's the nickname, and then hers is Lottie because it's, you get it. You get it. Okay, so these change our mood. I usually just go with this one to keep the mood on an even keel. Whatever your highest is, this will lower it and bring it back to even. Uh, if you want to raise your mood, do one of the other ones. But like I said, I like to keep it even. So she's worried right now, which is... What is that? Afraid. Interesting. It looks like afraid and depression are equal, but it took afraid. Of the two. But usually whichever one is lower or higher than any other ones... That's what shows up on your face, so... She's sad. Well, not sad. Scared. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. We're gonna keep doing archery because 20 is not high enough. Dun, dun, diddly, diddly, dun. It's got, like, pleasant music and, you know, it's... All happy, nice, nice, but then you die. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> that is what this game does. Do, 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 do. Uh, what's that commotion outside, father? Right, this is the Lumen. Uh, she's a mage. She worked with our our mother, the the queen who died, and she wants us to become the next Lumen. She wants us to become a mage. Uh, this is one of the few choices that we have early on in the game. We can arrest her because our father says that she caused our mother's death. We can send her away, or we can let her stay. If we let her stay, it it leads to this branching path where we can find this crystal and become a mage and use magic in the story. We obviously want to do that. If we if we arrest her, which I've done, she gets pissed off, escapes, and then comes back around to bite us in the ass later on. So you have to be careful how you treat people. We're going to be nice to her. Uh, let's see, I want to hear what she has to say. We got a willful mood bonus thing because we defied our father. Uh, again, we're going to attend service, so we're not as afraid. Now we are depressed, I think is what that is. Yeah, we're depressed. <laughs> uh, let's see, skills. We have 30 in archery. That's not good enough. We're gonna go ahead and get it up to 50, probably. 
Actually, I don't know how much I need to dodge the arrow. That's what we need archery for. Which doesn't really make any sense. You need you need reflexes, right? To dodge something, but whatever. Game logic. Uh, you learn about carrying your bow, blah, blah, blah. Uh, never fire a bow without an arrow on the string, you think? Uh, let's see. You strap on protective gear and practice gripping, drawing, and anchoring the bow. Okay, so we're practicing for war. Uh, we've maxed it out at 50. And yeah, see, it's going to tell us right here. We have to have 25 in the other weapon skills to get it above 50. I think 50 should be good enough. Charlotte's playing in the yard. Uh, the lumen, the mage, jumps out and she's like, Don't move! Yeah, we don't have the skill to not move. If I press hold still, it'll say something like, Our composure has failed. Yeah, see, our composure skill is not high enough. So even though we wanted to stay still, we couldn't manage it. And a snake jumps out and it tries to bite us, but Charlotte, our cousin, takes the bullet for us. Lottie, no! Her mom comes out and she's like, God, this place sucks. A snake just bought, bit my daughter and she's going to die. So they leave, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Obviously, I'm paraphrasing. Okay, so we're not as afraid. We're still depressed, though, apparently. Let's see, skills. So our archery is maxed. Uh, another one I want to max out is reflexes. That's another one that will save our life. Save our loif. So that is what we're going to do next. I think it's athletics. No. Agility? Yes, there we go. Reflexes. As your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches. Blocking touches? Okay. That sounds perverted. You practice with a jump rope, increase your speed of footwork. Alright, that works. Uh, the castle seems quieter with Charlotte gone. It's certainly not empty, blah blah blah. So she's kind of depressed that uh, Charlotte is gone. And then if we had poison skill, we could tell what kind of snake bit her. It wouldn't actually help. We can't save her or anything like that, I don't think. But for our own peace of mind, we could tell what kind of snake bit her. Something like that, if I remember right. I think she says something like, it's some kind of viper and there's no known antidote for its poison. Something like that. So we're less depressed. Very good. Now we're afraid again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Skills. We want more reflexes. The more you put points into one of these sections, the faster we'll grow along with your mood. Those are the two ways to increase your skill gain speed. Uh, certain mood will increase it and putting points into this little, you know, subsection or whatever will increase your speed. At this point, we've got plus 1.21 per point. So yes, we're not going to change our classes. We're just going to do reflexes again. We're still afraid. That's the bonus. It tells you what bonus works with whatever you're learning. In this case, reflexes. Uh, you practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and eye coordination. Okay. We can now train, or we can go to play sports during the day if we want to. Uh, you practice running. We got two level ups. At high speed, back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when a ball is too far away to reach. Okay, so it's now at 50. Yep, can't go any higher. Very good. My lady couriers have arrived from Duke of Sed Sed Sedna? Sedna. We don't have foreign intelligence, we don't have foreign affairs, so we know nothing at all about uh, diplomacy, basically. Brought us a letter, deeply regret. Okay, so they brought us a letter and a gift because our mother died. Court manners, we didn't know how to deal with the gift, basically, because we don't have any court manners. Uh, okay, we're not as afraid. Now we are, what is that, willful, I think? Yeah, it's Willful. Okay. Uh, I don't know what Willful does. I can't remember. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So we have Reflexes. Hopefully that'll save us. We have Archery. That will definitely save us at one point. Uh, I think for one of the deaths, we either need Sword Skill or Running. If I remember right. We're going to go with Sword Skill. We're going to fight when they attack. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, we need one of the two. Let's see, classes, weapons, weapons, swords. Let's see, we got 13 points. You take a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You practice slow swings to move your blade precisely, uh, building up your muscles and control. Your Royal Highness, I would speak with you. What is it? She's a priestess of the second circle, whatever the hell that is. I don't actually remember this one. Questions, answers, grasp, blah, 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 Duchess of... Oh, right, she wants us to speak to the Duchess, the Lumen. 
the mage. She wants us to speak to the mage. Okay, we don't have enough uh, mood to lower our mood. That's why it's not here. So I'm going to do one of the ones that are just for talking. We'll do this one. She wanted us to talk to her, so here we go. We'll have a chat. Uh, what is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. We do not. Uh, this is what gives lumens their power. Royal crystals passed down, blah, blah, blah. Do you have a crystal? Of course. That's what it looks like. Uh, you reach out to touch it, but it dissolves away into nothing. We can't take her crystal. We have to find our own. Yeah, you need to find ours. Uh, okay, so nice little chat. Now we want more sword skill, because it's not good enough yet. This should get it to 50, I think. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in careful time patterns. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. Practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. So we've got 50 sword skill. Piece of hair. Uh, as you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running. This is the one you need. I think it's elegance. Okay. Oh, okay. You either need elegance or reflexes. We have reflexes at 50, so we got to dodge this uh, event. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, we could have run into the mage if we didn't have those two skills. Not the mage. The maid. Uh, I'm trying to go too fast. Confusing my words. Uh, but if you have one of those two skills, you don't run into the, the maid. As far as I can tell, all it does is avoid a conversation. That's it. So. Uh, we're going to talk to our father about the... Because we still can't lower any stats. Talk to him about the crystal. So where is mom's crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Willful, because we're defying him. Uh, meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now, you are still a child. So he won't give us the crystal, because he's trying to protect us. Let's see, skills. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raise polearm. In any of these sections, if you get all three of them to 25, you get a new outfit. As stupid as that sounds. And then the outfits give you bonuses to those skills. So if we get polearms to 25... We'll have all of them above 25, and we'll get the Swordsman, I think it is, outfit. Which will give us some bonuses. We don't actually have an outfit at the moment, so I might as well get one. Let's see, polearm. Don't actually know what the polearm skill is for, but whatever. As far as the game goes. Uh, you learn about a variety of long weapons. From quarterstaff, to the spear, to the halberd, and glaive. Uh, you practice walking while carrying a long weapon, getting a feel for its size... Blah, blah, blah. You learn basic stances, blocking, crushing... Wait, without crushing your fingers. Okay. There we go. Unlock the new outfit. Uh, there's a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Uh, yeah, he wants to create a printing press. We don't know anything about production or trade, so we can't do it. Because we don't, we don't have any knowledge about it. We're going to talk to... Ursul again. My father says that I can't have the crystal. Uh, there may be no time to wait. Blah, blah, blah. She says we can either try and get it ourselves or we can do something drastic, I think is what she says. Yeah, we might take drastic action. Uh, I'll try to find it on my own. Willful again. Let's see. Uh, skills. We'll put our outfit on, which is a tabard. We look like a squire, basically. So as you can see, these all went up by 10, just from the outfit. What else do I need? I need dogs. That's another one I need. That'll come into play. That one killed me twice in a row, actually. So we're going to do that right now before I forget about it. Yeah. It doesn't have any minuses, so... Oh, uh, let's see. Animal handling. Dogs. Done. Uh, you visit the kennels and learn about different breeds of dogs. You learn about dog grooming and the most common diseases and injuries that dogs suffer. Do, 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 do. Did I mention that the music in this game is fucking amazing? Uh, Your Highness, my sympathy is for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget... Yeah. So his mother's dead too. Thank you. You're making her depressed, you douchebag. Uh, however, I must call for your aid. The Ignite occupation... Oh, right. This is the war. Right. We don't have any skill for that. Yeah, military failed. I don't know anything about the military. It must be a peaceful way to settle this. Yeah, we can only go for the peace route because we don't know how to wage war at the moment. He's talking about the different uh, consequences, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, we can't talk to any of the people and we can't go here, so we have to raise a stat. Let's visit this treasury, I forgot. We can do that. So we need accounting or presence to be able to get into the treasury. We don't have accounting or presence. Although we will get presence eventually. That's where the uh, crystal is, by the way. Let's see, what is our mood at? Why is Willful not going down? We're gonna have to get some yielding. Because that's getting way too high. Uh, we want more dogs. Skills. So that is what we're gonna do. Let's see, you learn the standard commands for working with trained hunting dogs and retrievers. You practice working with trained dogs in a small area. Stay, search, fetch. Okay, cool. Uh, the representative of blah 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 is here. Be careful, no one wants... Right, this is the people we're at war with. They sent a uh, negotiator. You have our full support. Let's get this over with. We don't know anything about history, so we can't get any insights. Our foreign skills are terrible. All of them. Uh, we can either execute him, which is what I usually do. We can bluff, which won't work because we don't have the skill. We can offer him money, or we can surrender the province, which makes us look weak. Don't ever do that one. We're going to execute him. Uh, and here you have our answer. Off with his head! Ship that back to... So, we're going to ship the, the negotiator's severed head back to his country. Which I'm all about. Uh, angry? No, we want yielding. Yeah, two yielding. There we go. Uh, so we sit in on some court stuff. Our mood has changed. Yeah, see, our willfulness went down, although our angriness went up. <laughs> so, it's a balancing act. Uh, we are... One away from having dogs where I want it. Uh, we also need naval strategy. Or swimming, I think. One of the two. That's yet another death that I'll be trying to avoid. Let's see. One for dogs, one for military, naval strategy. Uh, let's see. You learn that sea is not something you hold. It is something you travel across. Naval strategies ensure your free travel while denying it to your enemies. Okay. So we've got 50 dog skill. You choose a young puppy and begin raising him to respond to you over all others. Okay. So we have our own pet. Uh, you receive a report of the outcome of the battle and blah. You succeeded in driving them out of... Okay, so we won the battle, but we lost a lot of soldiers. If you have the skill, the military skills, you won't lose very many soldiers. So... Blah, blah, blah. He'll be happy. Uh, the guy who came to see us about... Yeah, we want to reduce our angriness. And we're still angry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, definitely work on naval strategy, please. Let's see. Uh, you study different kinds of ships, their names, designs... Study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, weapons. Learn about the requirements for all civilized sailors to rescue the crew of a sinking ship. Okay. Damn it, it didn't max out. I'm gonna have to waste an extra turn on it. Dirk of Sedna. Dirk? Duke of Sedna. This guy wants to marry us. Because we are gonna be the queen soon. And if I remember right, we can either, yeah, we can either accept it or deny it. If you accept it, your father steps in and says, you're not 15 yet. We're about to be 15, so we can't marry him yet. And if you deny, he says something like, it's okay, he can wait, or something. I don't know, something like that. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. So we have to get one more naval strategy. And we need something for uh, intrigue. We'll get... Hmm... Actually, we need some conversation skill, too. We'll get flattery, I think. Yeah, we'll get flattery and one more naval strategy. Wait a minute, did that have any minuses? I didn't look. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Classes. Naval strategy. Uh, conversation. Flattery. There we go. Uh, let's see. You learn that it's important to make eye contact. Oh, you think? Thank you. That's brilliant. Uh, you learn about the challenges of naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather as well as unknown coastlines. Okay, good. So now we're a, we are a naval genius, basically. Uh, you're requested to... Oh, right. We have to decide if this guy gets executed or not. 
Uh, your highness, the slattern blah blah blah. He killed her sister, or something like that. Yeah, the Duchess of Mead. Oh, sorry, she killed her sister. In the kitchen. It's justice, they killed her brother. So, a commoner killed a duchess, and we have to decide what happens to her for it. Uh, we can put her to work, we can a prisoner, or we can execute her. If you do this one, she kills her anyways. The, the duchess's sister, or whatever, kills her anyways. Uh, we're gonna imprison her. I think that's the best option. You tried to murder a noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. You'll not have me. Oh right, she tries to kill us. This is one of the few instances where you don't need a skill to survive. Even though we have archery, we didn't need it for this one. If you don't have it, you still survive. Uh, your missile strikes her in the head, knocking her off her stride. Immediately, the guards catch up. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, she uh, she didn't like the news of being imprisoned for life, so she lunged at us. We grabbed, I think it was a sh like a, a sconce or something, and we chucked it at her head. <laughs> and because we have archery skill, somehow archery is equivalent to throwing things. I have no idea. Uh, we hit her in the head and stopped her. But like I said, that's one of the few where you won't die no matter what. Same for the poison with the snake at the beginning of the game. You can't die there. No matter what you do. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll just stick to flattery, I think. For now, flattery. Flattery. Flattery seems to be good for all kinds of things, so... Uh, you learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. Okay. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. What about the vain people? There are, there are a lot of people who are extremely vain. They probably prefer the latter, honestly. Uh, let's see. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound. This is the one for premonitions or whatever. Yeah, divination. We don't have falcons, we don't have divination skills, so we can't sense the premonition or whatever. Uh, the reports of... Yeah, these are the monsters that are attacking. We don't have any lore or history skills, so we don't know anything about them. Uh, I don't think it matters because this never comes up again, as far as I can tell. The, uh, the monsters. Or it's really late in the game. Something like that. Let's see. Skills. Uh, we need more flattery, so keep doing that. Oops, I skipped one. Uh, small personal details help make the recipient of your flattery feel that you have truly noticed them. Which is always better than a simple how nice you look. Yeah, the devil is in the details. Uh, let's see. Remember the festival? Oh, right. Public celebrations. This queen, you'd be expected to lead the procession. Well, damn it. I didn't mean not safe. I don't have any of the skills for this. He's saying it's not safe because we'll be out in the open and someone could try and assassinate us. Which will happen in this game. People do try to kill you. <laughs> so, your ten services in the castle grove lowered our one of our skills, so we are now depressed, I think. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, our flattery is maxed. I'm trying to remember what skill we need for the parade. I honestly don't remember. Uh... Hmm. I think it might be... One of these, possibly, but I don't know. It might have been public speaking as well, although now we have... A huge minus for pu for the, for conversation. I don't know why. Hmm. So we couldn't raise it at this point, even if we wanted to. Sadly. Uh. Well, that kind of sucks. We're gonna fail at the uh, parade. Sadly, I don't have a choice. Uh, flexibility. What are we gonna learn next? Oh right, espionage. I wanted to, I wanted to learn uh, espionage. We're gonna learn... Where is it? That's not it. Is it? History, medicine, economics, military, faith, lumen. Yeah, I thought there was a different one, but apparently not. <laughs> Trade production... Okay, so we'll learn foreign intelligence. Why not? 
Uh, next time we get in a fight, it'll give us an, an advantage. Give us some more extra information. Intrigue, intrigue. Foreign intelligence, foreign intelligence. Uh, when we get in a war, battle, whatever. Uh, the current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect. Okay. Good to know. The domain of Shenjia. The West, steadily increasing in size, controls a wide range of coastline. Okay. But da 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 Today is the procession and planting of the festival, blah blah blah. Like I said, we don't have any of the skills for this. Yeah, we're not gonna go because we'll just fail. We can't make a speech because we don't have, uh... What is it? I think it's actually called public speaking is what it is. And then we can't lead the parade because we don't have presence, I think. So there's no point in going. Same thing, lower our depression this time. Hey, we're happy for once. Dun 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 dun. Uh, yeah, just get more foreign intelligence. We'll be a spy master, why not? It's also got the coolest outfit, too, whenever we unlock this one. Uh, the political disruption of Blah has just, wait, disrupted their chocolate production? Which has benefited Nova. Okay. Uh, since their recent revolution, the Tombulans twice begun gathering troops. Both times their camps were struck by fierce storms and earthquakes. Interesting. Uh, are you ready for the- oh, damn it. I forgot about this, too. All the nobles in the domain. So we need dance skill if we can get any. Oh, it's too late. No. Yeah, we don't have anything. So we failed everything. Basically. Uh, we can choose who we want to dance with. I don't think it matters. We- I usually go with Scandalous, which means we dance with a woman instead of one of our suitors. If I remember right, but yeah, we don't have dance skill, so it doesn't matter. We failed everything. Literally everything for the ball. So we didn't make an impression, basically. Uh, okay. Minus afraid, we're willful again, that's fine. Ding, ding, ding. Foreign intelligence is almost done. Let's go ahead and get internal affairs. We'll work on that. So, yeah, that one's max. Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus, although they are currently sticking to the Northern Seas, blah blah blah, slave raiders. Okay. Uh, if you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown. Oh, okay. Right. Charlotte's father, apparently. Uh, you wander downstairs to visit your father and blah blah blah. blah. Enthusiasm, you realize your father isn't alone. Right. This is where we have to make her look bad. She's, she's courting our father's interest, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, shame her with silent scorn. Insult her with flattery. We're going to trip her because we have reflex skill. I think that's what you need. You wait until she gets closer. You put your foot out and she stumbles. Oh, it was flexibility. It wasn't reflexes. Fortunately, you get your feet tangled up, so now we look bad because we didn't have the right skill. Oh dear, she does need a bit of looking after, doesn't she? Not by you. <laughs> Uh, raise an eyebrow. He's mad that we're getting in his way. Because he was going to hit that, basically. <laughs> uh, intrigue, yes, but you must give them direction. So we got an intrigue skill check, which means we know something more than our father does. Which brings up this little prompt right here. Uh, I think he asked us what we're most afraid of. I'm going to say assassins. You can deal with any problem. Uh, assassins worry me. Uh, your best defense against assassins, increasing your skills, will help to protect you. Okay. Harsh penalties, so we can train harder, we can hire more guards, or we can increase punishments. We're going to hire more guards. I need more guards. I have to be safe, as you wish. Uh, let's see, we still don't have enough for this, but we're going to go here anyways, just to pass the turn. Skills, more internal affairs. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, damn it, I forgot to switch that one. Oops. This one went up by two. Eternal Uncle's wife, Countess Nix, claims kinship to Old Merva line and originally asked your mother for the title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. Okay. Uh, the last Duke of Mead, older half-brother of the current Duchess, 
His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life mate of the old Duke of... Ah, okay. Interesting. Then broke that off only a year later. Require... Okay. So he died. <laughs> Apparently he was, uh... In a relationship with some other dude, and then he got shamed and then went away and died or something. I don't know. Uh, it's the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. We don't have any, yeah, accounting skills, so... We're not gonna do anything, because we don't know what we're doing. Reduce our angriness. We are still willful. I'm gonna have to get some yielding skill. Okay, I need to change it this time, because I forgot last time. Internal affairs and ciphering. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, let's see. The Duke of Mari has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursul to no avail. That's the Lumen. Duchess's brother is opposed as he will inherit if she dies childless. Oh, he doesn't want her to get married. Okay. Agents suspect the Duchess of Ursul is actually more interested in the Duchess of Hellas. Neither has ever been linked to a man. Oh, she's a lesbian. Okay. The two duchesses are... They have a thing, I guess. Countess Leek of Dis married the old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age, then divorced him as soon as she'd borne him an heir in order to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, but the old Duke apparently had no objection. I guess he got what he wanted. So he maxed out internal affairs, which is good. Ciphering's up to 20. He practiced reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. You practice shifting substitution ciphers. So, code breaking. We're learning code breaking, basically. Uh, you're requested to stand judgment. Okay, this is the one where the guy is uh, on trial. Yeah, he admitted to kill his wife, but he said demons made him do it. This one's kind of a catch-22. We don't have the skill for sensing whether or not he has a demon inside him. But if you imprison him or try to execute him, he escapes and tries to assassinate you later. If you pardon him, uh, he causes unrest or something like that later on in the game so none of the choices are actually good i think this one's better though i don't know i'm very sorry for your loss don't blame yourself so we basically bought into him being possessed and we let him go uh we want to get some yielding because we are too willful let's see skills ding 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 more ciphering skill this should unlock a new outfit the uh, spy outfit or ninja outfit or whatever it is. You practice random substitution ciphers, so we're learning more code breaking. There's the outfit. Uh, complex transposition ciphers. Code decipher blah. Yeah, it's just more code breaking stuff. So, my lady, there's a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem. Uh, someone called this a squid in a poem. We can say it's hilarious or say it's terrible. We're going to take it lightheartedly. Which gave us cheerfulness. That's actually funny. So the poem blows out the window. We can go after it, but we don't have climbing skill, which is what you need. And if you try to do this, you can die here, I think. You fall out of the tree, basically. We're going to ignore it. Uh, lower our depression. Sure, why not? What the hell is that? I don't know what mood that is. Pressured. Okay. She looks like she's constipated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the outfit. That's right. Uh, so this is the new one. The cat suit. Which is interesting. It's got a fucking monocle. I, I have no idea why. Just go with it. Uh, what do we need next? Hey, these aren't in negative now. Very good. We're gonna get... Presents. Because if we get presents, we can get our crystal. Let's see, uh, royal demeanor, presence. Let's see, uh, you practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Young as you are, you are queen of the blood of the mother's daughter, blah blah blah. Uh, you stare yourself in the mirror, practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes. Okay, good luck with that one. Uh, I regret to inform you that Fabian the Earl of Titan... Oh right, some old guy died, basically. And no one cares, is the gist of this conversation. <laughs> Uh, it says something like, we didn't even know him that well, or something. Because he died, his son is now in line to become the Duke. 
but he's not old enough, so we have to decide who takes care of him until he gets old enough to become the Duke. The best option here, if I remember right, is to give him to his mother. That's who this is. So we're gonna do that. Uh, he's upset enough already, we're not gonna take him away from home, we'll give him to his mother. If I remember right, he thanks us for not taking him away from his home. Uh, we shouldn't have enough presents yet, I don't think. Yeah, it still failed. But we might have enough next turn, I think. Let's see, skills, yeah, 20.5. Keep doing that. That's not what I wanted to do. Return, classes. There we go. Uh, you practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and to let that energy surround you. I have no idea what the hell that's talking about. You plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree, deeply rooted in the earth. You can feel that power within you and know that you will not be pushed aside. Okay. Woman here to see you. She's a musician. Right. She wants to be the court m musician or something like that. Oh, we do have intrigue skill though. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be very wait can be useful and dangerous. Can be useful and dangerous. Okay, because we had the skill, we got a little bit of extra information there. But it was kind of dubious information. It said they could be useful or they could be dangerous. So, who knows? I've always rejected her just to be on the safe side, because for all I know, she could be an assassin. So, we're gonna reject her again. When in doubt, avoid being assassinated <laughs> in this game. Let's see, skills. We need one more for presence, and that'll be maxed out at 50. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and get some more royal demeanor. Yeah, we'll get composure. Doon, doon, doon. Let's see, okay, so this one's maxed out. You practice focusing your attention on individuals as you pass, letting them feel a brief connection with you before you formally acknowledge them with a nod. <laughs> okay. Practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. Uh, we see your letter. Yeah, this is when he thanks us for leaving him with his mother. Yep. Uh, we're going to go back here and we should have enough now. Partial success. You order the guards to step aside. They waver slightly, but in the end, they stand by your father's commands. So we have to have a counting as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and skip royal demeanor and we'll work on accounting. Economics, economics, accounting, accounting. And let's see. Studying. It just says studying. Oh, we didn't give any points. We must have had a negative. I wasn't paying attention. This is a trade. Staring at the sky. Falling star. We don't have any divination, so we can't tell what the sign is. Minus cheerfulness. Why? Let's see. Economics. We have a minus two to economics. Wow, that was a wasted turn. We also have a minus to royal demeanor now, too. Hmm. Well, that's not good. What do we have a plus to? Weapons. Animal handling. Mil Let's do some military until we can get... Whatever the hell we need for this. I don't honestly know. Intellectual. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, we'll get some strategy. Military, military, strategy, strategy. Uh, you study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. You study the effects of battle stress on troops. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation. Okay. I have unpleasant news to report. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs, trade restrictions. Business is disrupted. Okay. So we can send emergency aid or we can do nothing. I think this costs money, so we're going to do nothing. So business got harder. Doesn't that happen all the time? It's not my fault they didn't plan ahead. Yeah, we want to save our money for the war, basically. Uh, we'll talk to her again. You've not yet received a crystal. Are you making progress? Uh, no. We're, we, we're going to handle it. No drastic action. Thank you. Let's see. Skills... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I forgot to work on that. Well, we need to get more... What is it? Strategy, anyways. Although... At one point, yeah, it might just need one to max out. 
possibly. We'll go ahead and get logistics just in case, so I'm not wasting points. Yep, max out. Uh, you learn about how units reinforce each other, so you have different kinds of battle terrain. Uh, you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army to march, the kinds of equipment soldiers need available. Okay. Uh, my lady, there's a letter for you. Uh, it's Brittany again. Birthday party, right. Invitation. So yeah, we. she wants us to go to her birthday party. This is where the first death can happen, but if you have archery, it won't. Uh, we're gonna go to the party. Or at the very least, the first death I know of. Uh, let's see, mood. What the hell do I need for accounting? Lonely yielding. I doubt it's willful, or pressured, or cheerful, or angry. It's probably one of these. If I had to guess, maybe lonely would be accounting? Or yielding. One, one of these two. See if we can lower them both. Yielding and lonely. Let's see, yielding, lonely, cheerful. Yielding, lonely, there we go. Uh, okay, so we play with some toys. For some reason, she's still happy. That's fine. Uh, hey, there we go. We don't have negatives anymore. Very good. Let's see. We're going to do... Let's go ahead and max out logistics. Because that'll give us another outfit, the military outfit. There we go. For some reason it didn't max it out. It must have negatives now or something. Yeah, see, here's the attack. Bandits attack. Luckily the bodyguards are well prepared for such an event. Managed to drive off the attackers. Oh, because we ordered more guards earlier. They didn't even get a shot off. Usually they shoot at us and we have to use archery skill to dodge the arrow, or we die. But because we asked for more guards earlier in the game, it didn't happen, I guess. Uh, Gunnar's party is lovely, blah blah blah. Yeah, her, her and her mother are having an argument over a power struggle type thing. I thought I had flattery skill. Uh, we're gonna side with the mother. Because I think she gets mad if we don't. Yeah, she's talking about something about the history. Don't really care. We're going to do this one again. And let's see. Classes. Yeah, see, this one went to negative. That's why. That's fine, though. We already have the uh, outfit, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, economics. We're going to go to accounting. Where is it? Economics. Accounting. Done. Uh, you brush upon your basic mathematics, blah blah blah. So the manipulation of large quantities. Matters have come to crisis, okay. Declared civil war. So, the woman, uh, okay, the uncle, or the, the father died, the duke. The son was next in line. We left him with his mother, who was RSA, and now she declared war on us. <laughs> uh, apparently she feels you are a weak leader, unfit to be queen. Interesting. In okay, so the Duchess of Mead and the Duke of Kigal. Huh. Situation. Military. We have military skill. What forces can she muster? And what are we still holding? We have four and a tenth battalions. Naval side is, of course, useless in this conflict. By my estimate, RSA can field almost five and three quarters battalions. That's not good. We'll come down to a question of strategy. There are ways to increase the number of soldiers you have available. Could offer to pardon various criminals. I think I did that last time and it worked out. Probably know how to fight very well. Forces are in motion. So the war is going to happen next. The civil war. Uh, we have really good skills to fight it. So we should be okay. We're going to do this one some more. And we're happy. Uh, the new outfit is this one. Which looks very cool. Since we're about to go to war anyways. We'll put it on and get the bonuses. As you can see. Uh, more accounting, please. Max it out. There we go. Very good. Study bookkeeping and diminishing returns. Uh, the negotiators for rebels has arrived. Surrender now and I'll be lenient. 
No, we're not here to surrender. They want us to surrender. Needless bloodshed. Agree to marry one of the Duchess Arisei's sons. She will become your regent. So she wants to take over, basically. Uh, we're gonna refuse. Outright. No compromise, just refuse. I'm the queen, I will not give in to threats. Uh, yeah, we'll meet on the battlefield, that's fine. I have the skills to fight you, my friend. We're gonna do some more of this. We are still happy, very good. Uh, accounting is maxed. So next time we get to uh, go to the little menu, I'll check and see if we can get the crystal. Current mood, cheerful. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to not die. Bum 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 bum. Uh, flexibility sounds good. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Uh, agility, agility. Flexibility, flexibility. Learn to relax and evaluate tension. Blah blah blah. Practice circling your arms and making kicking motions. I don't know how that helps, but okay. War rages. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. Battles are won and lost. Blah blah blah. Uh, your forces sweep through the rebe rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. RSA, the ringleader, is executed and other rebels pay tribute. So we won. Of course, there's also a cost paid in lives. Uh, we don't have strategy, logistics, battlefield, or any of that other crap. Total casualties were one and a half battalions on your side. So we, if we had some of that stuff, we would have lost less people. Which probably would have been useful, but oh well. Uh, we're going to keep doing this for now. Skills. Uh, probably just more reflexes for the moment. Let's see, you practice bouncing motions. Kneel on your hands, pressed on the floor, stretch like a cat. Okay. Practice holding your body in a stretched out pose. Sure. Why not? Uh, things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. You could hold a tournament. Here's the second chance for us to get murdered horribly. Uh, nice jousting musicians, blah blah blah. Status and praise. Uh, that's to the winner of the competition. Being declared the best should be prize enough, blah blah blah. She moves through the hall, eyes fall on the face of flowers. This is something to do with decorations, I think, yeah. So, the whole do is being lazy. Those flowers should be replaced. Uh, if you have decoration, you replace the flowers yourself or something like that. Gift from Kigal. No, milady, A merchant house, I believe. It was sent... Oh, here's a chance to die right here, too. This is where I died first, I think. If I remember right. Uh, we don't have production or trade skills, so we don't know anything about the people sending it. But it says they're uh, merchants. We don't have court manners, but we do have dogs, which should save us. All of a sudden, your puppy, who is usually so well-behaved, growls at the box of chocolates and lunges at it. Bad dog. Chocolate isn't good for you. Silly thing making such a fuss. So, if you don't have the dog skill, you don't have this choice. You just die. You just you eat the chocolate, and then you get a game over screen because it's poison. <laughs> Spoiler. So, we're going to save it for later, and by later, I mean never. But yeah, the dog saved us, basically. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to... Even... Even keel. Oh, damn it, I forgot to go to the stupid... Uh... Armory, or whatever. Let's see, pull arms. I think we should probably work on our... Public speaking. Yeah. Or composure. Let's work on public speaking, because it's got a huge bonus. Conversation, conversation, public speaking... See, I uh, take deep breaths, memorize lists and sonnets, blah blah blah. General tournament, the people will be pleased if you participate in their game. Alright, okay. Uh, we have... Hmm. We don't have riding skill. We have a little bit of polearm skill. We have pretty good uh, sword and archery skill. We don't have any music skill and we don't have any falconry skill. So it's one of these two. Let's compete as an archer. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, archery field. Oh, my archery failed. Neither of your shots comes nowhere near... Okay. So many shooting at once. 
few can tell how badly you did. <laughs> All is announced and displayed. Great cheers. All the, here's the third chance for us to die. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's the Earl of something, Armored Gauntlet. He's related to the woman who went to war against us, and he wants retribution. Ringleader of the Rebellion, she was his mother. Yeah, it says it right there. So, he draws his sword, he wants to fight. I challenge you. Uh, we can try and refuse, and if we do, we have to have running skill, which we don't have. We're gonna accept. I've never actually accepted before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Very well, I will meet your challenge. Uh, this is a challenge party, you have a choice of weapons. Swords or stabs. We're gonna go with swords, that's our higher skill. Perhaps, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and read this one because, like I said, I've never seen this before. The sword, or the crowd, seems not to realize at first that this is a blood match and not entertainment. Or perhaps they do, and their cheering is all the louder for it. Uh, rage fills him with great strength, and makes him erratic and unpredictable. Worse, he's armored. He seems willing to settle for nothing less than your death or his. No, it failed. You score minor wounds against him, but his expression never changes. His speed never falters. And his face, his eyes, they are as red as blood. He's gone berserk. There's nothing you can do to stop him. Eventually, you were overpowered. No! Damn it! I didn't have enough sword skill. Ah. Oh. Apparently, 60 sword skill or whatever I had wasn't enough. So, we are now dead. He skewered our ass. So, that is the end of our, our queen, sadly. Uh, we avoided four deaths, I think. Three or four deaths. And this was the fifth one, I think. Something like that. But, uh, this is what this game is about. It's about getting killed. Horribly. In nasty ways. <laughs> so, I don't know how far into the game I was, but, uh... We're toast, sadly. Uh, Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills. Yes, yes. Title screen... Uh, it says on the title screen how I have died, if I remember right. Yeah, we've drowned before. I've, I completely forgot about that one. Uh, we just got stabbed with a sword. I got poisoned twice. I thought there was another one. Yeah, I'd taken the arrow to the gut before, but it's not listing it. I don't know. But yeah, there's tons of ways to die in this game, so fun stuff, I guess. <laughs> so there was a random game. Uh... I don't think I like it, honestly, because it it takes too long for things to actually happen. And it seems like most of the time the skills don't have much impact. Unless it saves your life, which is only, you know, a couple of times. All the other times you get a skill check, you just get a little bit more information. Or the scene changes slightly. Stuff like that. So, eh, I don't know. Anyways, there was a quest to play everything. I'll see you guys. Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and this is Quest to Play Everything. Today we're playing Long Live the Queen, which was gifted to me in hopes that I would play it, so here you go. Uh, the full title of this game is Rule or Die Trying, and they mean it. This game looks all happy and fluffy and, you know, sunshine and kittens, but it's not. Uh, this game will kill you over and over again. I've already died, like, five times, and I've only played it five times, so... <laughs> Uh, it's, this, this game does not play games, so to speak. Let's go ahead and get her going. Uh, there's a lot of text in this game. I'm gonna be paraphrasing most of it, otherwise this would turn into, like, 20 videos or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the king, our father, tells us that our mother's died, and we are about to turn 15, so we have to become the queen. We have to, uh, train to become the new queen. Uh, I'm gonna go over the different bits and bobs real quickly. Mood decides how fast your skills go up. Uh, if you're very depressed, then one of your skills goes up faster. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one is uh, affected by depression. But that's our highest skill. Uh, let's see, cheerful. If I remember right, that does dance and singing and stuff like that. Uh, angry is for the combat st type stuff, like swords. Uh, afraid is for reflexes and anything to do with dodging. So, you get the idea. The higher your, your mood is, the more your stats will grow. In this case, we're going to be raising... Probably... 
Good question. I'd like to get the combat skills up, so I think we might start with those. We'll start with archery, because with our our mother, the, the queen who died, and she wants us to become the next Lumen. She wants us to become a mage. Uh, this is one of the few choices that we have early on in the game. We can arrest her because our father says that she caused our mother's death. We can send her away, or we can let her stay. If we let her stay, it, it leads to this branching path where we can find this crystal and become a mage and use magic in the story. We obviously want to do that. If we if we arrest her, which I've done, she gets pissed off, escapes, and then comes back around to bite us in the ass later on. So you have to be careful how you treat people. We're going to be nice to her. Uh, let's see, I want to hear what she has to say. We got a willful mood bonus thing because we defied our father. Uh, again, we're going to attend service, so we're not as afraid. Now we are depressed, I think is what that is. Yeah, we're depressed. <laughs> Uh, let's see, skills. We have 30 in archery. That's not good enough. We're gonna go ahead and get it up to 50, probably. Actually, I don't know how much I need to dodge the arrow. That's what we need archery for. Which doesn't really make any sense. You need you need reflexes, right? To dodge something, but whatever. Game logic. Uh, you learn about carrying your bow, blah, blah, blah. Uh, never fire a bow without an arrow on the string, you think? Uh, let's see, you strap on protective gear and practice gripping, drawing, and anchoring the bow. Okay, so we're practicing for war. Uh, we've maxed it out at 50. And yeah, see, it's going to tell us right here. We have to have 25 in the other weapon skills to get it above 50. I think 50 should be good enough. Charlotte's playing in the yard. Uh, the lumen, the mage, jumps out and she's like, don't move. Yeah, we don't have the skill to not move. If I press hold still, it'll say something like, our composure has failed. Yeah, see, our composure skill is not high enough. So even though we wanted to stay still, we couldn't manage it. And a snake jumps out, and it tries to bite us, but Charlotte, our cousin, takes the bullet for us. Lottie, no! Her mom comes out, and she's like, God, this place sucks. A snake just bought, bit my daughter, and she's gonna die, so they leave. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Obviously, I'm paraphrasing. Okay, so we're not as afraid. We're still depressed, though, apparently. Let's see, skills. So our archery is maxed. Uh, another one I want to max out is reflexes. That's another one that'll save our life. Save our life. So that is what we're going to do next. I think it's athletics. No. Agility? Yes. There we go. Reflexes. Let's see, your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches. Blocking touches? Okay. That sounds perverted. You practice with a jump rope, increase your speed of footwork. Alright, that works. Uh, the castle seems quieter with Charlotte gone. Uh, certainly not empty, blah blah blah. So she's kind of depressed that uh, Charlotte is gone. And then if we had poison skill, we could tell what kind of snake bit her. It wouldn't actually help. We can't save her or anything like that, I don't think. But for our own peace of mind, we could tell what kind of snake bit her. Something like that, if I remember right. I think she says something like, it's some kind of viper and there's no known antidote for its poison. Something like that. So we're less depressed. Very good. Now we're afraid again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Skills. We want more reflexes. The more you put points into one of these sections, the faster we'll grow along with your mood. Those are the two ways to increase your skill gain speed. A uh, certain mood will increase it and putting points into this little you know, subsection or whatever will increase your speed. At this point, we've got plus 1.21 per point. So, yes, we're not going to change our classes. We're just going to do reflexes again. We're still afraid. That's the bonus. It tells you what bonus works with whatever you're learning. In this case, reflexes. Uh, you practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and eye coordination. Okay. We can now train, or we can go to play sports during the day if we want to. Uh, you practice running, we got two level ups. At high speed, back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when a ball is too far away to reach. Okay, so it's now at 50. Yep, can't go any higher. Very good. My lady couriers have arrived from Duke of Sed Sed Sedna? Sedna. We don't have foreign intelligence, we don't have foreign affairs, so we know nothing at all about uh, diplomacy, basically. Brought us a letter, deeply regret. Okay, so they brought us a letter and a gift because our mother died. Court manners, we didn't know how to deal with the gift. 
basically, because we don't have any court manners. Uh, okay, we're not as afraid. Now we are, what is that, willful, I think? Yeah, it's willful. Okay. Uh, I don't know what willful does. I can't remember. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So we have reflexes. Hopefully that'll save us. We have archery. That will definitely save us at one point. Uh... I think for one of the deaths, we either need sword skill or running, if I remember right. We're gonna go with sword skill. We're gonna fight when they attack. I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, we need one of the two. Let's see, classes, weapons, weapons, swords. Let's see, we got 13 points. You take a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You practice slow swings to move your blade precisely. Uh, building up your muscles and control. Your Royal Highness, I would speak with you. What is it? She's a priestess of the second circle, whatever the hell that is. I don't actually remember this one. Questions, answers, grasp, blah, blah, blah. Duchess of... Oh, right, she wants us to speak to the Duchess. The l One of my deaths was due to archery skill. You'll see that in a while, assuming I get that far. Let's see, classes. These are the different classes. We want to learn weapons and archery. We get to train two times a day. We're going to train both in archery. Let's see, you learn how to twist and wax a bowstring from a variety of fibers. Okay, that's good. You learn to cut fletch and tie arrows. Oh, goody. So we have 20 archery skill now. Uh, what's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, right, our cousin and our aunt and our uncle show up. Hi, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I don't know why they call each other that. Her name is Elodie, the, the new queen, or the future queen. They have, like, a nickname for each other, I guess, and her name is Charlotte. I have no idea. Oh, because it's a part of their name. That's why. I, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. Charlotte, at the end, it's I guess her name's Lot. That's the nickname. And then hers is Lottie because it's... You get it. You get it. Okay, so these change our mood. I usually just go with this one to keep the mood on an even keel. Whatever your highest is, this will lower it and bring it back to even. Uh, if you want to raise your mood, do one of the other ones. But like I said, I like to keep it even. So she's worried right now, which is... What is that? Afraid. Interesting. It looks like afraid and depression are equal, but it took afraid of the two. But usually whichever one is lower or higher than any other ones, that's what shows up on your face. So, she's sad. Well, not sad. Scared. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. We're going to keep doing archery because 20 is not high enough. Dun, dun, diddly, diddly, diddly. It's got like pleasant music and, you know, it's... All happy, nice, nice, but then you die. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> that is what this game does. Do 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 Uh, what's that commotion outside, father? Right, this is the Lumen. Uh, she's a mage, she worked 